Hey everyone, this is Tim again here. I'm trying something new instead of songs. I will be um, comparing snacks from different countries via Snack Crate. I'm giving um, each one a score from 1 to 10, and I'll be comparing them to other countries as well. First off, we have Japan versus Israel. Today, I'm doing Japan's snacks. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, we have what looks like taco chips. It's in Japanese, so I have no idea how to pronounce these. So, let's see. There we go, that's how you open it. But they look about like Doritos, honestly. Yeah, they. Okay, yeah, it's um almost like you put they put taco seasoning on a Dorito. I mean, it's okay, I'll, I'll give it a 5 out of 10, but not really spectacular. Okay, next we have this. Once again, it's in Japanese, so I have no hope of reading or pronouncing it. Uh, brownie looking type thing yeah it's it's very dry I can tell just from the sound of it so let's see hmm I don't really know what to think of it honestly Interesting taste. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll I'll go ahead and stick with a five for this as well. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Next we have a Doraemon looking thing. I only know that because I'm a nerd that loves anime. But let's see what this is. <coughs> yeah. So looks like a giant Cheeto almost. To what? It's got garlic on it. Okay, I like this one. It's really good. It's almost a garlic bread type thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll give this one an 8. And we have a Japanese version of a Kit Kat here. So let's see what this is. It's green, so I'm guessing it's green tea. From the color of it, if I can get it open. Yeah, see, it's very green, almost like an Irish looking color.
Definitely green tea. I mean, I'll give it a seven. It's good. So far, Japan's been doing pretty well with their snacks. I don't know which one's the front of this. We have a little cartoon looking thing. Ooh, they're sour. It says sours. So I'm really gonna like these. I love sour. I don't like, I don't love trying to open them up though. Ooh, they smell like gum. Oh no, they're gummies. Little turtles. Yeah. Yeah, they look like that. Hmm. Interesting taste. They're decent, I'll give them a five. For those, I've already had that one. And here we have, oh, Choco Ball. Wow, <laughs> some of these actually have English words on them, picture that. So I'm guessing they're chocolate. If I can. Really? Come open. <laughs> that must look so ridiculous trying to get this open here. Yep, my greatest nemesis, snack wrappers. All right, let's see. Everyone clap for me, I got it open. All right, let's see. They look about like chocolate ravens, smaller whoppers, something like that. The chocolate covered peanuts. All right. Yeah, it's just chocolate covered peanuts, really. So those are also a five. Let's see. Crazy. Rats. And... I see no English on it. It's these are spicy. Those who know me know that I do not like spicy. All right, let's see. Not much spice, but I feel like 
the taste, I feel like I'm eating cat food. I do not like these at all. Yeah, no, those are a one. Ugh. Ooh, watermelon gummies. I usually love these, so let's see. Ah, still have the taste of the grass in my mouth. Ugh. Really? Over half this video is going to be me struggling to open these up. Here we have their little circles. Not much of a taste, honestly. I mean, if you like chewy, it's good, but. There's something in the middle, it's, you would think they would have, it would have more of a predominant taste than it does. Yeah, no, I'm going to give it about a three. Not really interested. And... There is no English in this at all, so I'm not sure what to expect. Lemon. They're in the shape of lemons. So let's see. It's a gum. It's almost a lemon style gum. I love this. I love the taste of it. I love the fact that it's sour. Yeah, this gets a 10. So far, these are the best things. I right hear as I drop one. There we go. Uh, and now I'm making a mess. Okay. Let's see who we have. Hello, bunny. It's a bunny rabbit screaming something. No idea what it says again. All right. I don't know what shape that is. Is it like an egg or it might be strawberry? But it's strawberry and it's pretty good. I'll give it an eight. It, I like it. All right, we got that. Had that already. Grape. I really. I probably don't want to hide you. It's a great gum. I don't think I'm going to try this one. It's Everyone knows what great gum tastes like, I think. 
I'll go ahead and give it a five because I'm not really a big fan of great. Or should I? Why not? It's in the snack crate. I have already showed it to the camera. I'll go ahead and try it. Yep, yeah, see? Little messages in Japanese. I don't know if the camera. Nope, it won't show it. Alright, let's. Oh, there's something in the middle of this. Yeah, if you see right there, see that white? So it's probably a good thing I did decide to try this. That's not a gum. Okay, it's got a bubblegum flavor, and it is a chewable, but in itself is not a gum. I revised it from 5 to 6 because it's good, but not really great. Let's see. And we have our final snack here. Pretzels. Yeah, that's all it really says, pretzels. Oh, yep, yeah, just like you thought. It's tiny little pretzel sticks. Yeah, that's pretty much just pretzels. So, ultimately, Japan gets 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 10, 11, 18, 19, 24, 25, 26, 39. 68 out of a possible 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. 68 points out of a possible 120. So about half. Next time we're going to see how their opponent's Israel does. Can it, is this good enough to beat Israel or will Israel take the crown? Okay, see ya.